Good morning. I'm uh, ready to tell a story about a kind of a touchy, important story about human sexuality, healing your sexuality. You know, if you need to. You know, not everybody needs healing. You know, but a lot of people do. Um, uh, the main thing is for me is it, you know sexuality is not the most important issue it's not you know but it is a really powerful instinct and getting control of that instinct is a very important feature of freedom you know it's a, a facet of freedom is controlling your sexuality you know the difference between a civilized human being and a wild animal is that civilized human beings follow the rule of law, the law of marriage, the divine rule of law, marriage, the, the divine rule of marriage. And then, you know, in previous revelations, the, you know, religions, most people didn't know how to read. So the priests would read the word of God and tell everybody what it says. Now, one of the rules is that everybody should learn how to read and read the word of God for themselves and under, you know, seek the truth by reading the word of God. And science, science is important. You know, science and religion are complementary aspects of the search for truth. And what, science without religion is materialism. And it's, religion without science is superstition. And either one without the other is a half truth. You know, you gotta have both to have the whole truth. And, you know, sexuality is a very powerful instinct. And it, you know, in the past, having sex with, you know, anyone you want to, that's, that's wild. The difference between wild and free is uh, freedom is lawful, wild is lawless. And so getting control of your passion, you know, your unruly passion is a very important facet of freedom and you get that, you know, control that instinct, you know, the prefrontal cortex of the human brain is, you know, we control, you know, we have instinct in common with the animal kingdom, but the human kingdom, creatures of the human kingdom regulate the expression of our instincts and emotions with uh, the rule of law, the divine rule of law that we learn by seeking the truth and reading and studying and learning. And that's how we become civilized human beings. Every civilization in human history was created by people doing that. You know, that's the difference between wild animals and human beings. You know, and the whole alpha male style of you know, that's kind of natural. That's what, you know, that's competitive and and alpha males get all the girls and all that. And that's, it's not, it's primitive. It's very primitive. You know, Baha'u'llah is the, I, I believe Baha'u'llah is the founder of the kingdom of God right now. And he is creating a new civilization that unlike anything that's existed before, it's it's like the magnitude of the revelation of Baha'u'llah is so huge that you know, he's created a civilization that will last for as long as life on earth lasts. You know, there will be a, the civilization that was founded by Baha'u'llah in the 1800s, the 19th century. And um, one of the important parts of that is the divine rule of law. And the, the divine rule of law has been it's evolved over the centuries, but in this, the form it is in now is that one man gets married to one woman, and that's the only context, the only legitimate, healthy, moral context for human sexuality is with your spouse. And so you get married and you have sex with your spouse and you have kids and you raise a family and that, that whole relationship part of human nature is part of, you know, the difference between a wild animal and a civilized human being. And you create families. And then families create civilizations. And that's the way it's always been. And that's the way it always will be. And we take good care of our families because that's the basis, the nucleus of uh, civilization is families. 
And, um, but getting control of that is, you know, how we get free. We get free from our instincts and, you know, we still have instincts. We're not, get, it's, it's more like a complement. It's not a, we're not replacing our na natural instincts. We're complementing them with the word of God and the rule of law. And by that, that's how civilization is created. That's how families are created and that's how civilization is created. And, but it's really, it's not easy. You know, I think uh, getting prayer and meditation, you gotta meditate a lot. You know, get into meditation and get control of uh, your unruly passion and learn how to practice. You know, the other part of it is uh, submission to God. You know, when everybody, under, you know, seeks the truth in the Word of God and learns the Word, you know, and learns that divine education, then we submit to God and that's the nature of freedom submission to God equals freedom it's exactly that's what freedom is is submission to God that means you're not controlled by any human being not even yourself you know you're you're controlled by God and that that's the very nature of freedom it's a difference between wild and free is the submission to God and the rule you know following the rule of law and civilized human beings, that's what civilization is. And so learn how to do that. Seek the truth. Whatever your religion is, whether you know, read those writings and study them and practice them in your own life every day, all day long, you know, in every detail of your life. Practice spirituality in every detail of your life, including your sexuality, you know, and your family and your community always practice the rule of law and the divine rule of law and uh, it's uh, you know uh, it's like the other thing is not using drugs you know you gotta not use drugs drugs you know degrade human consciousness both acutely and chronically you know, being intoxicated is a degraded state of consciousness. You know, it might feel good, but that doesn't make it good, you know, because, you know, and uh, it's kind of like a flying towards a lamp, you know, an insect flying into a lamp, you know, it's not the best idea. It might feel good when they're on their way, but in the end, it's not a good thing. So don't, you know, using drugs is very harmful and don't do that. Um, that's another issue about freedom, you know, because you lose self, your self-control by be using drugs. You're not controlled by yourself. You're controlled by the drugs, your thoughts and your emotions and your instincts, you know, are totally distorted, you know, because the neurotransmitters, there's a particular balance of neurotransmitters that you need in your brain and your central nervous system. And when you put drugs in there, it totally, you know, it's totally out of balance. And and that, uh, and then the the damage is also chronic, you know, because the you know once you do when you do that, you're damaging the molecules and the neurons and the you know mo you know the cells in your body are being damaged every time you take a drug, you know, and it's harmful very extremely harmful what, what what drugs do to your brain is just you know i mean look at all the homeless people in in the united states right now at the epidemic of homelessness about 80 percent of that is caused by drug abuse we got to stop doing that we got to whatever it takes it, you know from the it, whether it's the you know, first line of defense should be education, teaching kids to not, you know, very, they should be taught a lot in school about the very nature of drug abuse and what it does and how it does it and not to do it, to not do it, you know, and figure out some other way, you know, teach people nutrition, you know, eat a nutritious, healthy, nutritious diet for one thing to start with, 
but then don't eat drugs, you know, don't take drugs because they, they, they destroy your body and your mind. And so, you know, that connection between the brain and the mind is a very delicate, very extremely complex and delicate organism, you know, and you know, you want to take good care of that. And, uh, you know, don't use drugs. Gambling and stuff like that is not good for you either. You know, don't. The main thing is practice harmlessness in your life. You know, don't do anything that's harmful to yourself or anyone else. And a lot of these little pleasure seeking behaviors are harmful to the to the person who does it and to the people around them. And so get in the, get, make, cultivate good habits in yourself, cultivate yourself, improve yourself. Improve, self improvement is a never ending process. Life on earth is a never ending process of self improvement. You know, keep uh, seeking the truth and learning and growing and the new civilization, the you know, the one world civilization is a big deal right now, and the whole world is growing together into one universal and divine civilization. This has never existed before on this planet, and it does now. You know, it's our, it's very obvious. It's all around us. The United Nations, the jet planes that can fly all around the world, and the the internet. You know, communications, worldwide internet communications, and all kinds of things like that. And the satellites, uh, interplanetary transportation. You know, we got robots flying around the solar system. You know, taking pictures, and that's this one. This one global spacefaring civilization is a very interesting subject you know and investigating that and learning and finding wow that's really cool and what what can, where's my what can i do in there you know where's what what's my niche niche in that uh, global civilization going to be you know what do i want to do be productive you got to be productive you know this gets down into those basic instincts again you know productivity is one of the most important aspects of human nature you have being productive you can, you know not working is not healthy you got to be productive productivity is a very important feature of human nature it's you know you got to be productive so work hard work smart work safe you know all the time you know and and you should be working every day you know you're going to take holidays holy days off and but for the most part you want to work every day you know that's part of being a healthy human being is working and uh, being productive creative exercise your creative freedom you know your muscles you know because it's just the muscles your mental muscles and even your spiritual muscles all your are going to be it's just like your physical the more you exercise them the more stronger they become you know and if you don't exercise them, then they kind of wither away. So that's what you want to do is you want to practice spirituality and family values and new, good, healthy nutrition, get in the habit of eating healthy, whole food and not, you know, not, you know, processed food where they take all the nutrients out of it. So it'll last a long time on the store shelf. That's, that's not even food. That's why we have such a problem with obesity because people are eating all this food that all the nutrients are gone. And so they're, you know, eating more of it. And, uh, but uh, just work on improving yourself. Keep working on improving yourself and uh, have a great life, you know. Uh, make yourself productive, make yourself valuable. and. Learn how to trade, learn how to make good deals, make good deals and make prosperity for yourself and your family and your community. So thanks for watching and have a great day.